Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 19 homework. So let's get started. Number one, divide and then check using multiplication. The first one is done for you. Alright, so A, we have 71 divided by 20. So they did it the standard algorithm way. They did 71 divided by 20. So 20 goes into 71 three times. So you wrote a three here. And 20 times three is 60. So you subtracted 60, which gave them 11 left. And 20 can't go into 11, so that means we have um, remainder 11. So our answer would be three, remainder 11. And this part, we're checking our answer. So 20 times three, because that's the answer we got, equals 60. And now we add that remainder to 60, which gives us 71, which is our original number, which means our answer is correct. So let's try B. We have 90 divided by 40. So let's write 90 divided by 40. 40 goes into 92 times, and 40 times two is 80. So minus 80, that'll give us 10. 40 can't go into 10, so then our answer is 2, remainder 10. So now let's check our work. We do 40 times 2, which will give us 80. And 80 plus 10 is 90, so our answer is correct. C, 95 divided by 60. That's right, 95 divided by 60. 60 goes only one time into 95. 95 minus 60 is 35. So that means we have one remainder 35. So now let's check our work. 60 times one is 60. And then 60 plus our remainder, which is 35, will give us 95, which is the original number we had before. So our answer is correct. Let's see, D, 280 divided by 30, 280 divided by 30. 30, let's see, three goes into 28, probably nine times. So then 30 times nine would be 270, which is perfect. So 30 goes nine times. 280 minus 270 is 10. So 30 can't go into 10, so our answer is 9, remainder 10. Now let's check our work. 30 times 9 is 27, and that is zero at the end. Now we take 270 plus our remainder, which is 10, and that will give us 280. So our answer is correct. All right, let's look at E. 437. Divided by 60. How many times does 60 go into 437? Let's see. 6 times 7 is 42. So 60 um, times 7 is 420. Which will probably be enough. Because then 420 plus 60 again is 480. Which is too much. So it can go 7 times. Which is 420. And now we subtract. Our answer would be 17 which means our answer is seven, remainder 17. Let's check our work. 60 times seven, we know it's 420. And now 420 plus 17 is 437. So we know our answer is correct. F, we have 346 divided by 80. Let's see, 35, 34 and eight. Eight can go eight can go eight can go four times probably because eight times five is 40 which would be 400 that's too much so four times which would be 320 now we subtract our answer is 26 that means we have four remainder 26 let's check our work 80 times four is 320 and 320 plus 26 equals 346. So our answer is correct. All right, next page.
Number two, a student divided by four, or not, what did I guess? A number divided by 40 has a quotient of six with a remainder of 16. Find the number. So we're gonna work backwards here. Something divided by 40, you can write blank, divided by 40 has a quotient of six, which means the answer is six and a remainder of 16. So remember what we